Hello and welcome to another <laughs> another uh, video for Maya Star. Uh, wow, that was awfully enthusiastic. Enthusiastic. Um, okay, so in this video, I am going to go over the user setup now. I'm going to try to keep these videos much shorter, and I'm probably going to talk kind of fast because I'm going to try to keep them as short as possible. Um, okay, so the user setup now. Uh, what is its function, and why is it important? Um, well, if you've watched the a much older version of mine of how to install my star uh, you would you would know what the user setup now is and what to do um, but I know it's such an old video that a lot of people probably haven't even seen it so okay so the user setup now it's important to both Mac users and PCs it's also important to my Lite users okay the user setup now uh, what its function is is when you start Maya is it tells Maya what to do to prepare uh, for Maya star uh, mainly, and it tells it to run another mail script called uh, MyStar Menu. And that MyStar Menu, when it runs, creates the menu at the top. Okay, so it's very important. Now, the other thing you need to know about user setup mails is that many other third parties use the same user setup mail. Um, uh, it's the user setup mail is the only script in the scripts folder that tells Maya to do what it needs to do for all sorts of different third-party plugins um, and so other third-party developers are much better than I am <laughs> and I don't know how to do it yet sometime I will learn how to do it uh, to where their installation scripts um, automatically do what I'm going to tell you to do manually if you already have third-party plugins okay so whether or not you're using Mac or PC or Maya Lite, uh, one of the easiest ways to find the user setup now, uh, where is it or where is the scripts folder where you're supposed to install Maya Star? Okay, two ways you can find it. You can either come down here and click on the lower right hand corner or you can go Windows, General Editors. Oops, I can stop being so <laughs> You ever have one of those days where your hand just twitches? Because sometimes this is so... Okay, anyway. And then script editor. Okay. Oh, God, that was annoying. Okay. Because uh, I'm trying to do this fast. I'm like a little bit jittery. And I believe it or not, I don't drink coffee. So I don't have that excuse. Okay, so the script editor will open up. I don't know why. I don't see my Python um, tab there. But we don't really need it. Okay, so an easy way to find where is your... You, where is your scripts folder is to open up the script editor and go file load script okay now this will open up I'm on Windows 7 now this is the the address um, or the location uh, well actually this isn't the location for the scripts folder but this is gets you there almost all the way okay now for PC users it will be under your you know your user um, that's me Heather M um, um, yes, my real name isn't Kathy. <laughs> um, um, my documents, Maya, and then the version number. Okay, and then there's the scripts folder. Okay, now you got to be very careful because um, there's another scripts folder underneath Maya. Don't ask me why. Maya has two scripts folders so close together. I have no idea what the original programmers of Maya were thinking because all it does is cause confusion. They should have named it slightly different uh, so that um, so that it, it didn't cause confusion. And then there, I think there's a third scripts folder in the C programs file, you know, uh, Maya. Or Autodesk Maya. Now it's not Autodesk's fault because Autodesk bought Maya from a company, the original company that made Maya, called um, Alias. Um, and so uh, they're the ones who did it. So don't get too mad at Autodesk. There's plenty of reasons to get mad at Autodesk, but that's not one of them. <laughs> uh, although Autodesk, like any company, is, is has good points and bad points, and and in many ways they're extremely generous. And in other ways, they're, I don't know. So, but that's all. You never 
nobody's ever 100% happy with anyone. Okay, so you can see that um, in Maya, I have Maya 8.0, which is my very old version, and this is a 32-bit. Uh, I have my old version in 64-bit, and I have Maya 2014, 64-bit, and I had rented Maya through Steam for $30 a month uh, last month. Um, so I have Maya 2016 uh, Lite. By a light, um, and I meant to make a video before my subscription ran out, but I don't feel like paying the thirty dollars again this month um, to have it rented again. So, um, okay. Well, anyway, so you go to your Maya, you go to your your version number, and there's the scripts folder. Okay. Now, if you are, if you have basically a brand new installation of Maya and you're installing Maya Star for the first time, and you've not installed any other third-party plugins, this folder will be empty. Okay? This folder will be completely empty. Okay? With not even these. I put these in here or whatever. No, I think this one might be in there. This is a new one. Older versions of Maya didn't have this. Or I might have put it in there. I know I put this one in here. Anyway, it'll either be completely empty or there might be a folder. One folder in there. Um, and you're not going to see a user setup now because uh, by default Maya does not create a user setup now when you first install Maya. There's no need to because there's no third-party plugins installed yet. Uh, if you, I think if you activate like the bonus tools, Maya um, will put a user setup now in there um, if you activate bonus tools uh, for Maya if they still have bonus tools. So, um, okay. So there's the user setup now, okay? And um, so before you install Maya, you and you want to look to see if there's a user setup now. If there's a user setup now, you want to open it up in a in a word processing program. You know, so you just right mouse click on it, open with. I just do it with Notepad, really quick and simple. And um, here, let me drag it on my screen from my other screen. Now, if it's blank, good to go. You can close it. Forget about it. Just overwrite it when you go to install Maya Star with it for PC users with the EXE file. They'll say, "Hey, there's already a user setup mail here. Do you want to overwrite it?" To say yes. If you find that when you open it up, there's other lines of code other than this source Maya Star menu dot mail. Then what you want to do is you've got a couple of different options. You can. Um, write this code down or type this code down and add it to that to that user setup now either below or ab above you know on its own line either above or below um, the, those other lines of code um, and then go file save and then when you go to install Maya star say no you do not want to overwrite that user setup now because if you do it's going to you're going to lose those other third-party plugins uh, lines of code or you could highlight those third-party lines of code, go copy, um, edit copy, or control C. Uh, and I would probably file save as and save it as a backup, you know, so change the name here to, you know, something like original and save. So you have a backup copy of those third-party plugins, um, lines of code. Then install Maya Star and then open it up and then paste you know it will look just like this and you paste in those um, you paste in those third-party lines of code now what these lines of code do is all it's saying is when Maya star opens up I'm uh, not Maya star when Maya first start Maya um, every time you start Maya it looks in it looks for a user setup now and it runs these lines of code and all this line of code is saying is it's saying run Maya star um, underscore um, menu dot mail. Okay, that's all it's telling it to do, um, but it's very important that it does. Um, and when it does, in where is it? My star. There it is. My star menu dot mail. That's one of the mail scripts that are installed when you install Maya Star. Um, as you see, there's <laughs> quite a few mail scripts for Maya Star that I had to write. Um, um, okay, so this mail script, what it does, uh, my star menu script, is it tells 
Maya to install a the the Maya Star menu up here, uh, and it and it has a whole bunch of other functions in there other than that. It's what makes the Maya Star menu function menu work. Um, um, so, say you either don't want there to be a Maya Star menu every time you open up Maya, or say you have an older version of Maya Lite. Older versions of Maya Lite, even if there's a user setup now in the scripts folder, will not run the user setup now, and so the Maya Star menu does not pop up. Um, so there is a workaround for that, and it's the same workaround. It's and you do the same thing if you don't want if you don't want a Maya Star menu to pop up every time you start Maya. Um, um, for some reason, everybody has their own personal preferences. You can make a button on a shelf um, that when you click the button it loads the 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 um, the menu at the top of the screen um, it will load the menu at the top of the screen and it will be there as long as you have Maya open as soon as you close Maya and restart it the menu will be gone okay so um, oh and for the for Pete for Mac users like I said this you do the same thing of you know of Going to the script editor, going to the script editor, opening it up, going load script, and looking for your version, you know, and that will give you the, the address um, or the location of where you should be installing your scripts. Normally, different different versions of Mac, depending on what OS they're running, can be slightly different. The only other thing I can tell you is um um, I know you have to start at the very bottom. I think you usually have to start off with C drive and then the users and then the, your documents folder and then the Maya and then, and then the script, then the version and then scripts. I'm pretty sure. Um, 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 and like I said, it just depends on what OS version of Mac you're running and all this. So, um, I don't, you know. The only other thing I can tell Mac users to find the script folder is to go to your C drive, or whatever your main drive is, um, and do a search over the whole drive for scripts folders. You know, and it's scripts with an S on the end. And then just install Maya Star into every one of those folders. Uh, you'll be able to probably eliminate some folders that obviously they don't have anything to do uh, in there, you know, if you look at the address um, or the location for each of those folders and you see that they're in a different program, then obviously you don't want to put it in that. But you can install um, the mail scripts into every single scripts folder you can find uh, on your on your hard drive, and that will usually um, you'll, you'll 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 find you'll install it, and one of those will be the correct one. <laughs> um, um, and uh, I know it can be a pain, but that's that's what I've had to do. I've helped Mac users uh, uh, and a couple of them a number of times where we just couldn't find the right scripts folder, and we just finally searched for all of them and put them in all of them, and then it finally worked. Um, we just couldn't. It, it just was, you know, but that's, you know, one of the drawbacks of, of Mac is that different OSs have slightly different um, things. PC users, it's a little bit more straightforward. It's always in your My Documents, Maya, your version number, and then that's in the scripts. Like I said, don't be fooled by this one that's underneath, directly underneath Maya. No, that's not the one you want. It's in the scripts folder. Okay, so that's where you install Maya, uh, Maya Star, and we went over the user setup. Oh, okay, so uh, to make a button. Okay, so to make a button, it's really super simple. I already have one up here, but I want to show you anyway. Uh, this is the same line of code that you saw in the, the user setup now. Exact same code. So you just type it in here, or you can copy and paste it if you decide to open up the user setup now. You know, install it someplace else um, without overriding your original one. Um, and all you do is you type in this line of code, you highlight it, go file, Save script to shelf and give it a name 
you know, and click OK. And it will install whatever shelf you have open. So if I had this one open, it would put it at the end of here. You know, if I had this one open, it would put it right here. I just happen to stick it on polygon shelf. I have a, a ton of <laughs> mail scripts that I've collected over the years, and a, a couple of them that I that I wrote um, uh, simple simple scripts. Um, um, anyway, that I've already incorporated into my star. So anyway, so now what would happen is when you click on this, it would install my star. If I click on it right now, it's going to say you already have error. There's already one there. What you know? Well, I'll show you. Say object name drop down menu is not unique name drop down menu is my star and so that's why it's saying hey there's already one there that's the error okay so you don't have to click on this every time you know and then so say you don't want my star to be installed when you open it up say you're a PC user and you don't and and not a Maya light user and you want to you don't want it you would do the exact same thing and then you would just delete the user setup now or you would if you had 30 part party plugins you just would not put this line of code into the user setup now and then it then you just click on this button so you do have that option and like I said older versions of Maya Lite have to do this newer versions of Maya Lite like I rented uh, Maya Lite 2016 last month and it installed and the user setup now script worked perfectly so um, um, newer versions of Maya Lite work just just fine Okay, so that's the end of, of um, uh, the user setup now. And I already so, just sort of told you how to find the scripts folder that you need to install Maya Star 2. And so, hey, a, a record, only 16, 17 minutes. <laughs> so, alrighty. Um, well, we'll see you in the next video. And where I'll go over um, um, the new features of Maya Star 4.5.